Okay, guys. Um, I ended the week up about four hundred dollars on my uh, Trade Station account, and so I wanted to go over uh, the trades that I took. I want to go over Friday's trading. Um, I hope that y'all are all doing well. Um, the market did end up attacking that sell side liquidity. I think that I pointed out. If you go look on my, what I want you to do right now is go look at my post, my community post, and you'll see that I, I did call this move at, in the PM session. I also told you the prior night to, I, I ended up trading in the AM session, but really, I'm going to be honest with you, the PM session is, is where all of your money could have been made. There was no real need to trade the, um, there was no real need to trade the, the AM session. Um, okay, so let's go over the executions. Um, there's going to be a lot of them. You're going to be like, you know, how are there so many? I'll tell you. Um, by the way, just so y'all know, this is not my login information, and I have two-factor authentication on my account, and I have security questions, and you would have a very difficult time taking my account. So I'm okay with showing it because, again, this is not my login information, and I have two-factor authentication, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So starting out, um, I had a short up here covered. Um, I, I tried again. I tried to long. I took a loss. I tried to long. I held it for 60 points and I added on one more contract and then I ended up taking the first contract off basically like at a small loss because I don't want to trade more than one contract. I am trying to follow a scaling plan here. So in any event, guys, you see that I, I took those contracts off. I then bought two more, sold one, sold one. Uh, I am only trying to trade one, but yeah, I, I've kind of broken that rule a few times and, and tried to trade two. Uh, traded two, bought two at 463, covered at 498. And then I thought the market right here might want to turn back down, but I ended up taking a six point loss there. Um, I tried again on a short, took another loss. Um, and I believe, I think these were all shorts. Uh, you can see I took a lot of break-even trades in here, guys. The reason that I'm doing that is because, you know, I'm trying to preserve my capital. So if I have to take a lot of break-even trades, that's okay. I'll pay the commissions, guys. I have really low commissions on TradeStation. They're like a quarter quarter per contract, like 50 cents round turn. It's like nothing, guys, so it's fine. That's why I do a lot of break-even trading. Um, and then I bought a contract here at 544 quarters. I covered it at 565 evens, and then a lot of break-even trading, um, a lot of break-even trades here, and then I bought another one here at 549 three quarters. Uh, I thought that at that point we were going to go run some highs, run that high up here, but we did not do it until a little bit later. So I took a five-point winning trade on that. So you can see I bought at 549. I covered at 554 there, uh, as I was, you know, basically I thought that the market was going to end up running that high. So as I saw that the market uh, was turning around like there, I got right back in, guys. There's sometimes what you have to do is you just have to get right back in. So I bought a contract at 560 quarters and then covered that at 583 evens. And I was following this thing all the way up. So you can see that I didn't know at this point during the middle of the lunch session, uh, I didn't know if we were going to draw higher or if we were going to come back down. Now, as soon as I saw that the market uh, rejected that new high and we made um, basically a model 2022 and we made a bearish breaker uh, on the two minute chart uh, as soon as I saw that you could see I started shorting um, so I had a short here on at five five ninety four three quarters covered that at 568 three quarters um, shorted again 560 uh, halves as I saw that we were probably going to go attack these lows covered it at 546 quarters shorted again um, at 5.55 evens. That was a break-even trade. I shorted one contract here and I added on again. I really should not be trading more than one contract, but a couple of times a day I broke that rule and traded two. Um, so I added on a second contract at 5.67. As I saw the market formed another bearish breaker. <clears throat> so I took the first contract off very quickly at 5.31 halves and then uh, I let the second contract go pretty far. So I let the second contract go down here to 477 three quarters. Um, and then as the market was going down, I was just shorting it as it went down. Um, and you can see that I was just shorting it all the way down, uh, taking these break even trades. Um, 
and and that I mean that was basically it. Uh, I did take a long here at three eighty nine three quarters, and I covered it at four sixteen. So that was a long. So you can see that that was a long right there, three eighty nine three quarters, uh, and then I covered it right at there. That thank God it's Friday thirty percent, and so you can see that I, I nailed that right on the head. I mean that was exactly accurate. Um, and then at the very end of the day, I took one more long and I took two points on it because I was already happy with what I made on the day. So I made 266 before commissions on Friday's trading. Um, I think I could have been a little bit less aggressive with some of these break even stops. Um, but, you know, at the same token, guys, I don't like taking losses. So I will take a lot of break even trades. I should probably graduate away from doing that. But in any event, um, okay, I'm going to hide the screen for a second for my login information on my trade of eight. Hold on. Okay, uh, here's trade of eight. This is my express funded account. I was down over $3,000. Um, I'll go to the electronic trading hours. Um, the very start of the day had some trades. You can see it was basically the same exact trading that I did on my personal account. I did it on my express funded account, except um, as you can see, I was shorting. I used three micros on my express funded instead of on my personal. I used one, maximum two. Um, so on my personal account, as you can see, I, I basically am just trading one or I'm trading two. Uh, then, but on my express fund that I'm trading three micros at a time instead of uh, instead of one. Um, so I took I took these shorts here at this bearish breaker. I covered one here, covered one here, and I covered the third one here. Shorted three again at 5:34. Took that all at sorry yeah 4:34. That was a break even trade, and then I just kept shorting it. So 4:19, 4:19. Um, and I covered those at 383 quarters, 378, 379. Um, or that might have been a long. I'm not exactly sure. That might have been a long. Um, but in any event, guys, I made um, $1,369 on my uh, Express Funded. So I'm, I'm halfway out of the drawdown that I was in. And then on my personal account, I made 266 before commissions. So it, overall, it was a good Friday. Um, I think I probably could have been a little bit less aggressive with the break-even trades, but I'm not too upset about that, guys, because I am trying to preserve my capital, so I'm pretty okay with using the break-even stops. I mean, do I get stopped out a lot? Yes, uh, but I'm also protecting my account by doing that. Um, am I racking up a lot of commissions? Yes, but at the same token, guys, I mean, I'd rather pay commissions than pay 20 points, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, so uh, it was a good day on TradeStation. It was a good day on my Express Funded account. I'm halfway out of the drawdown that I was in on my Express Funded. Um, so I might actually be able to start making money on this account maybe next week uh, and start getting, you know, get back into the positive. Uh, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing that I've been doing, guys. I'm on the micro NASDAQ on both accounts. Um, I'm trading three micros on my Express Funded. I'm trading one micro on my personal account. And um, so far, so good. Uh, I'm following Michael Huddleston's scaling plan on my personal account. So even though I broke that rule a few times and traded two contracts, it's not my intention to continuously break that rule. I, I really am trying to just trade one contract. I'm not always sticking to that, but I am trying. Um, so with that being said, um, I won't start really feeling comfortable with the scaling plan. So let me see if I can show you all the scaling plan. I'll show you all the scaling plan. So this is the scaling plan for my personal trade station account. Um, as you can see, uh, I am not going to start trading two contracts until I get to 4160. So the goal is to get to 4160 on my personal account. I'm still a good ways away from that. Uh, and then I will start trading two contracts. Um, and then going from there. So it was a good Friday. I think that um, we've got more good days to come. This is the scaling plan that I'm using on my TradeStation account. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit more aggressive on my Express Funded. Uh, I'm trading three micros already. <clears throat> but 
All right, guys, so this is my scaling plan on my personal brokerage account. And I will be up to two micros if I can get my personal brokerage account to 4160. So this was a review of my trades on Friday. Uh, I ended up 260 on my TradeStation account and uh, uh, 1370 on my Express Funded. I'm almost halfway out of the drawdown that I had on Express Funded, so maybe I'll get that account positive next week.